Hi, my name is Kathy and I'd like to welcome you today to our yoga practice. We're going to do a little bit of a, a yoga flow interspersed with some Western power yoga style yoga. If it is a little bit too challenging for you, I'm going to give you all the variations and all the modifications that you need so all levels can take this practice. What I want you to really focus in on, number one, is your breathing. Good form is very key. So if you cannot hold the form without your breath, it just simply means your body's way of telling you, slow down, you're moving too fast, or you're pushing a little bit too much. So it just needs to back off. Yoga is not about moving as hard and as strong as you can. It means really feeling what your body is able to do that day and what it needs to do that day. So no, no focusing on pushing through if something feels uncomfortable or like I said, if you're not breathing. So respect your body's limitations. They are there for a reason. And this is about lengthening your body, you know, really lengthening, uh, using your flexibility, um, allowing your breath to flow, really using, utilizing the breath as much as possible, and focusing on balance, strength, core, a lot of core strength, um, and upper body strength, and leg strength. So hopefully by the end of this practice, you'll feel released, relaxed, worked out, it's okay to sweat, don't worry, make sure you have a water bottle nearby, a towel. I have a mat that I use, a yoga mat, just because it's sticky. So once, if you start to sweat, you're not gonna have the risk of slipping and sliding. But if you only have a towel, and um, make sure that that is, is long enough for your body so that you can really stretch out on that towel uh, or have a few towels there to pad up. So we're gonna start in an all four position, which we'll also call tabletop. We're gonna take the hands and place them under your shoulders. The knees are gonna be separated below your hips. So it looks like a tabletop. And this is the way we're gonna get warm today. So I'd like you to really engage your core, pull your belly button to your spine. And again, take your hands just under your shoulders, knees separated below your hips. Take a deep breath in through the nose, eyes looking right between your hands. And exhale through the nose or mouth. Do that again, breathe in. And as you breathe out, tuck your toes and raise your knees off the floor to a push-up or plank position. Now your hips are in line with your shoulders. You're pulling your belly button strong and you're driving those hands into the floor, shoulders away from your ears. Go ahead and raise your right foot off the floor, but hold that position. Deep breath in through the nose. And out. One more time, breathe in. And out. Good. Bring that foot down, keeping the abs engaged, stay strong, and raise your other foot. Now make sure, take a deep breath in, make sure your glutes and thighs are strong. Exhaling. Again, focus on breathing in and out. Bring that foot down, walk your hands back, and just lift your tailbone up. Pushing your heels to the front. I'm going to move my feet forward. So feel free if you need to center yourself. I want you to drive your heels to the ground, lift your tailbone to the sky, and let your head fall between your, arm, your arms. You're looking at your feet, driving your chest towards your legs. Take a deep breath in, lifting the tailbone higher. We're tilting it up. And as you exhale, drive your chest closer to your feet. Can you feel that lengthening in your spine and the stretch down the back of your legs and the hamstrings? Now what I'd like you to do is either walk your hands to the feet or your feet to the hands, or a little bit of both. And you're just gonna hang forward, this is forward fold. Grab hold of your opposite elbow with your hand and let the crown of your head hang between your forearms. If you'd like to rock side to side, feel free. Engage your abdominals, take a deep breath in. And exhale, let your body hang further down. Breathing, and out. Let's do two more. Every time you exhale, relax. Exhale, let go a little bit more. One more time, breathing in, and out. Beautiful. We're gonna walk the hands back to the floor. And again, you can walk your hands forward or your feet back. We turn to your downward dog. This is our inverted V position. So your tailbone again is raised up, length of the spine, 
and let the head drop between your arms. Take a deep breath as you tilt the tailbone. And as you exhale, drive your chest closer to your feet, moving your shoulders away from your ears. Take a nice deep breath in. Push back a little bit further, driving your heels closer to the ground. Now inhale, float forward into push-up or plank position. And again, if you need to position your feet, it's, it's best if you don't have to, but at first it's okay. Try to get that form and contracting your abdominals, raising your right leg off the floor or foot. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, shoulders away from your ears. Again, inhale, lengthen your neck. Exhale. Put that foot down, stay strong, raise your other foot. Squeeze your glutes and thighs now, take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Again, breathing in. And back out. Take that foot down, hold. Engage your abdominals, squeeze your glutes and thighs. Shoulders away from the ears. Walk your hands back. And if you'd like, you can walk your feet center. Back to our forward fold. The body is hanging down and feel. Hopefully you're able to kind of reach a little further. If you can't reach the floor, if you're here or at your feet, that's okay. You can either use a block, you have a yoga block. But again, you can wrap those and wrap up with your elbows. Let the crown of your head rest. Take a deep breath in, lift the tailbone to the sky. And as you exhale, feel your body weight, your upper body sinking deeper towards the ground. Just let the tension out as you breathe out. Melt away. Again, breathing in. And then back out. Let's do that two more times. Let go a little bit more. If you have to bend the knees a little, that's okay. If you're feeling strong today, you can try to straighten them out as you exhale. One more, breathing in. And back out. Keep your hands to the floor. Walk your hands and feet back into your downward facing dog. Tailbone to the sky, driving the chest to your feet. Take one more breath here. And exhale, push the chest back. Relax the shoulders from your ears. And lift your heels, bend the knees, and release the knees carefully to the ground. Good. Now you can sit the hips back. This is a great position to relax in. You can either bring the arms forward or by the sides of your legs. You're going to take the forehead towards the floor. Rest. So everything's on the floor. Your forehead, your elbows, your hands. Your hips push back towards the heel, the top of your feet on the floor. And make sure that your knees are open apart enough so that your chest can rest. If the arms aren't too uncomfortable here, just simply place them at your sides, palms up. And if the forehead's uncomfortable, turn the side of the head to the floor, either right or left, it doesn't matter. The idea is to feel like you're melting into the floor. So it's taking a deep breath in. And as you exhale, just begin to melt. Oh, that feels so good. Just relax. This is such a good relaxation pose. So if you need to, like I talked about, if we need to modify, if we need to cut back or bring it back, this is a great position to come to. Like I said, any of those other variations, forehead, arms forward, whatever works. Perfect. And then we're going to lift up to hands and knees and get ready for our next pose. So how are you feeling by now? I'm going to turn for you because I want to show you how we're going to get into the next move. The next move is crow pose. Now, I'm going to recommend if you're just starting to grab some pillows or a big blanket and roll it up so you have something in front of you because we're going to balance on our hands. Yes, you're going to balance on your hands. It's not a headstand or handstand, but it's kind of going to get you to that place where you're going to be able to balance on your arms and your hands. It's strong center here, core strength, and then those feet slowly come up. So if you're afraid to fall forward, go ahead and pat up and bring those um, towels or, or blanket right in front of you, okay? I want you to spread your fingers wide. You're gonna place your hands just below your shoulders, okay? I'm gonna move back here so that you can see. So the first position is here, hands, our arms right in line with your shoulders, and I want straight arms. We're going to take the feet outside 
or the knees outside of each elbow, okay? So this is our starting position. I'm gonna give you a lot of modifications, don't worry. Even if you have those towels, are you still gonna get nice modifications, okay? So the idea is now is to kind of shift forward so that you have a lot of your weight on your hands now, more weight on your hands than on anywhere else. Engage your abdominals, breathing in and out. This might be enough for you today. Just feeling that weight might be enough. Shift back, and I'm gonna move my hands a little further forward because I felt that I needed to. So feel free to play with that, judging where you feel you need that most balance. Taking your knees outside or right on the back of the arms, a tricep area, okay? And if you need to bend the elbows a little bit, that's okay too. You're gonna drive your knees up higher now. So now I went from the back of my tricep area right underneath, kind of underneath my armpit, okay? So now it's almost like I'm tucking my knees in and I'm gonna lean forward now. Now I'm really gonna feel that, engaging my abdominals, and this might be enough. I might be able to lift one foot and then put it down, take a break, come forward again. This is all done very slowly. I'm showing you how to modify and begin. And then lift your other foot. Take it back down when you need to and release down. Anytime you need to take a break, you remember bring your knees down, sit back in child's pose. I'm gonna turn from the side. So same thing, hands are under your shoulders, knees are wide, outside of your arms. Now when you're really ready to get into this, you're gonna bring your knees under. See how I just went from here to under my armpits. Now I wanna really lean into it. And I'm not gonna look at you as I go into this for obvious reasons, but I'm gonna show you the modifications. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do today. Some days I can hold both feet up for a long time. Some days I only can do one foot at a time. So don't judge where you are today. Every day is a new day. So take a deep breath. Exhale, settle in. I'm going to lean forward. Then I'm going to lift one foot. Now this might be enough for you. If you can lift the other, wonderful. Now I'm going to bend my elbows a little bit, making sure that the back of the arms have my legs or my shins right on top of them. I'm focusing, I'm balancing on my hands. And if I need to, See, all I do is just go right back into my feet. Go back again, I'll do it one more time. My hands are getting a little slippery because I am getting warm. We're gonna lean forward, taking one foot up and then the other and hold, breathing in. And out. And in. And out. Can you do one more breath? If you came out, it's all right. And out. Feet down carefully and relax. Knees down and you know that relaxation, child's pose. Melt, put on some music if you'd like. I'm doing this without music so you can hear the sound of my voice and choose what you'd like in the background for yourself. And come back up, plant the knees. Wow, you should have felt that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna challenge the upper body and the core a lot. I'm gonna show you some modifications. First I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do 10 rounds. I might have to take breaks, so feel free if you have to, you take those breaks. Tucking the toes under, we raise the knees off the floor, we go right into our plank. Now this is not a plank, I don't want anybody lifting your hips higher than your shoulders. You wanna tuck them down, if you need a mirror nearby, grab a mirror. Okay, so you're gonna tuck the tailbone under and hold this. Now we're gonna go down into, it's called a yoga push-up or chaturanga or a crocodile, it just depends what variation you're following. Hands under your shoulders, you're gonna bend your elbows towards your waist and you're gonna lower and hold. Now, natural tendency, now bring your knees down, push up. Natural tendency is to do this. And I tend to do that too, so which means I really have to focus on pulling my shoulders back away from my ears. Another variation, but well, that's not a variation, that's not allowed, but a variation to do this. Instead of doing the full push-up position, just go on your knees, okay? You can press your ankles or just keep the feet up, tuck your belly button in, and again, just gonna go down, shoulders away, and then we're gonna push straight up. So variation, if you need a break in between, you know what to do, stretch it back, take that break. What do you think? Do you think we're in for it? So, a lot of strength in your arms. Yes, you're gonna feel it. Get over it. 
breathe, take breaks, no judging, respect the limitations. So let's come back, hands underneath your shoulders, either on your knees, and if you're on your knees, you're dropping your hips under just like you did in plank. I don't want you back here in the tabletop. So you gotta be in a modified plank or a full plank. Okay, engage your abs, tuck your tailbone under, squeeze your glutes and thighs, shoulders away from the ears, lower down, chaturanga hold. Push up, hold. If you need a break, take it. Do it again, two. Shoulders back and press up. So it's almost like you're moving your chest forward of your hands. Down again, elbows right by your sides, push straight up. How much was that, three? Come down again, inhale. Exhale, push up. Try not to bow your hips as you come up and down. Lower down and push back up. All right, it's getting harder. Squeeze, come down. Breathe in. Exhale, straight back up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's try three more. Breathe in and out. Two more. Exhale. Push. One more time. Exhale, push. And sit back. Child's pose. Relax. Deep breath in. Breathe out. Keep breathing. Slow and deep breaths. Relaxing with every exhale. And let's have a seat. How are you feeling? This might be a good time. Grab some water, put on some music, breathe. If you hear my breathing has elevated, I'm working really hard. I hope you are too. Hope you're feeling okay. If you need to take a break, take it. What we're gonna do now, <clears throat> go back into this plank position. Okay? You ready? So remember your abdominals are nice and engaged. And I want you to breathe, even while you're holding your resting positions, especially while you're holding the resting positions. So this is where we're gonna work the lower back area, and actually the whole spine. So take a deep breath in, tuck your toes, exhale, drive your knees off the floor. Drive your hips in line with your shoulders, elbows, shoulders away from your ears, hold. Now lower halfway down, chaturanga, hold, shoulders away from your ears, and then lower everything to the floor. Beautiful, top of your feet down, arms are gonna shoot forward, and I want your palms facing forward. Okay, and I'm gonna move back a little because I want you to be able to see my hands, palms are facing towards each other. I'm gonna bring my chin on my forehead to the floor, and I'm gonna lift my legs and my arms up at the same time and hold. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna inhale, and raise your chest, eyes are gonna hit the floor, squeeze your glutes, Push your belly into the floor and your pelvis. Raise everything up. Now lengthen your arms forward. Pull your feet back and stretch the body. Breathe. Exhale, relax. Shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, can you come up higher? Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, come down. Hands under your shoulders. Hands and knees. Tuck your, tail, tuck your toes under and raise up. Down dog, move my feet forward for you. So I'm nice and centered, do what feels good. And relax, take a deep breath in. Push back as you exhale. So really try to get as much of the stretch as you can, moving your chest towards your toes. Exhale, driving your tailbone under. Knees down, step child's pose. Relax and breathe. So I want you to stay here, relax and breathe while I talk to you. As you continue through your yoga practice, now you're gonna know my breath breathing is gonna be a little bit more internal, which means I'm gonna to try to keep my lips closed as I breathe in and out. So it's gonna sound like
You might not even be able to hear it as much as I do, but you're going to hear your own breath right between your ears. You're going to really feel the throat relax, and I want you to feel that breath, okay? So I'm going to move forward, and I'm going to allow you <coughs> to grab some water if you need water, and we're going to continue on. All right, next pose. We're going to go right back into our push-up. I'm going to turn to the other side. Push-up, plank, down dog, okay? So first... Let's go right into our plank, going into our push-up. So shoulders away from your ears, lower down, chaturanga, push back up, and go right into your down dog. Drive your hips back, now I'm going to bring my feet in again. You don't have to shift, I'm just centering, driving your hips up, chest towards your feet, give me those breaths. One more. Push, come forward into plank, lower down, chaturanga, come all the way to the floor, and let's bring those feet, I'm moving back, you don't have to, arms forward again, forehead or chin on the ground, when I say raise, you raise your arms, chest, and legs off the floor, inhale, raise up, shoulders away from your ears and breathe, inhale up a little higher, Reach those arms out, reach the legs back, breathe. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale, release down, hands under your shoulders, push back, hands and knees, child's pose, and rest. Stay here and breathe while I talk to you. Now again, with every inhale, you really want to focus on the breath entering the body. And as you exhale, you melt. You settle. You let go. And now if you want to, you can also sit a cross-legged position. Palms face up. If this is easier for you, or if you'd rather hold child's pose. Either way, you can close your eyes or you can look straight in front of you. So shoulders pull back and down. And you're breathing. And you're holding. The next pose is going to be a balance series. So we're going to do a downward facing dog with some leg lifts and into our warrior three. So a lot of challenge again if you want to put those towels in front of you. If you're afraid to fall on the ground and you have a hardwood floor, hard surface like I do here, you might want to pad up. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from the side. I'll turn to the side again. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, tuck your toes, raise your hips to the ceiling, up to the sky. Drive your chest towards your feet. Take that inhale, tilt the tailbone up. And exhale, push the chest back. Now, I'm going to center myself a little bit more. You stay where you are. All I want you to do is raise your right foot off of the floor as high as you can. Point the toes and reach. So as you reach, you're pushing your chest towards your left foot. Now stay there. Walk your hands back. Now this is a fancy way to come into warrior three. So now my leg is raised and I'm just gonna lift up. Now if I need to, I can reach the arms out here like an airplane, or I can shoot them forward if I'm feeling stronger. But eyes are down on the floor and I'm gonna move, because I know you probably can't see me, but stay where you are if you have this. I'm gonna move back a little bit. Just so this makes sense. So down dog, let's start from the front. We'll do down dog from here. I won't even turn my nap because I'm going to go back into that side view. But from here, you're raising your right foot off the floor. Keep it there. Plant the toes. Walk your hands back. Oops. That happens sometimes. We all lose our balance. It's okay. Focus. Good. Now I'm close to the wall. You might be too. Keep that leg up. Walk your hands back until they're under your shoulders. Okay? And then raise up from here. So I'm going to be here, or I'm going to rest if I need to, reposition, and then out. So I'm going to turn to the side so that you can see from the other side, and then we'll do it all together. Okay, so downward dog, once again, still on that right leg. We'll do the left leg just as many times, don't worry. Take the tailbone up, take the chest towards your feet, raise your right leg up. So really elongate through that leg. Take your hands back, or your hands are going to be under your shoulders. 
Now squeeze your glutes. What I want you to do is squeeze back here, as strong as you can. We're gonna move forward, you stay where you're at, but you're squeezing, stay there. And then when you're ready, get your balance, eyes on the floor, put your hands, and you're gonna go into T position with your arms. Eyes looking forward, about five inches in front, about five feet in front of your foot that's on the ground. Lengthen the arms, reach the leg back and hold and breathe. It'll look like a capital T. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. Lengthen the leg more. Give you one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Take your hands down. Beautiful. Take that foot down. And walk back to down dog. But this should feel good because you might have felt that work in that left leg. I know I did. So feel that stretch, enjoy it. Hip bone tilts the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, push back. Raising your left foot, pointing the toes, lengthen. Driving your chest towards that right foot. And then walking your hands under your shoulders. Get that balance, abdominal strong. I'm gonna stay here, I'm not gonna move this time. You know what to do. I don't even know what you're looking at me if you're feeling this, okay? You're doing right. Now lift your hands, balance, and when you're ready, raise your arms out like a T or in front of you. Lengthen your spine, get that whole foot that's on the floor balanced. Inside and outside edges, front and back. Now reach your arms forward if you can, or keep them to the T position, to the sides. Reach that leg back, pull those arms forward. Can you lengthen more? Can you lift higher with your leg? Reach those arms further, breathing in and out. One more time, breathing in, squeeze that glute and out, take your hands down. Walk your hands back, forward, get back into downward dog and tailbone up. And we're gonna repeat that again without a break. So raise your right leg, hold. Walk your hands under your shoulders. Hold, you should be getting this now. If you're not doing it, you should understand at least. Now lift your hands, up the floor, balance, lengthen, reach out or forward and hold. Three breaths. Calm down and breathe, one more. Hands down, foot down, walk your hands forward, right back into the dog. So we need to walk those hands out because we are walking them back to balance. Let your head drop, crown of your head facing the ground. Tail on up, shoot your chest to your feet. Lift your left foot, reach. Lengthen as high as you can. Walk your hands under your shoulders. Make sure your belly is pulled in strong, you're squeezing your glutes. Are we ready? Lift up. Balance this might be enough for you. When we comes out, lengthen your spine more. And if you can, reach them forward. You don't have to. Breathing in and out. Two more. Shaking is okay. These are working. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale, release. Walk your hands out, walk that foot to the floor, downward dog. Two more breaths. Shoulders away from the ears. Knees down, drop the hips back, child's pose. Relax. Stay here and breathe for five to 10 breaths. How are you feeling? Breathe, hold. Don't change anything right now. You're doing a wonderful job. Even if you had to modify, that was a challenge. So again, either breathe there or come to a seated position. Shoulders pulled back and down. Eyes either closed or looking forwards. Deep breath. And out. In. One more deep breath. And relax. 
going to work some core strength with balance and a little bit of a push-up plank position. All right, so really want you to modify if you need to use your knees on the ground and do what feels okay for you. If you need a more of a break, grab some water and just stretch it out at this point. We're going to come into hands and knees. Okay, I want you to pull your belly button nice and strong. You're going to tilt, tuck your toes under, raising the knees up. Or, again, you're here, okay? Deep breath in and out. Bring your right foot off the floor. Now bring yourself down into Chaturanga. Push yourself up. Bring that foot down and hold. Left foot up. Push it lower down. You have a push up, shoulders back. Push back up. Bring that foot down. Now bring the right knee towards your tricep. And take it back. Left knee towards your tricep. Take it back. Right, tricep. And back, excuse me. One more time, left. And back. Lower to child's pose. And relax. That was the preparation for what's coming. I'm going to turn around. And the next time, we're going to do that all together. So we hold and push up. Knees your toes. We lower halfway, we lower the knee, we'll bring the knee to the elbow. Now, a couple of my knees to my elbows, I'm flexing my foot and some I'm pointing. I like to point better, I was just kind of judging where I felt more comfortable and more balanced. So find what works for you. You might feel better with a flexed foot or a pointed toe. Pointed toes generally feel a little bit better for me, so that's just a little variation you can choose. Hands under your shoulders. Toes tucked under, let's go right back into push-up. Squeeze the glutes, drive your shoulders to back, neck is long, go down chaturanga, right knee to elbow. Go back, push up. Do that with again, drop down, left knee to elbow, push back, push up. Ah, sit back, child's pose. Woo. Breathe. Now that's what I mean about getting out of breath. You need to relax, recover. Come up the next set. We're not going to lower down into our push-up. We're going to stand plank. But we're going to do a little challenge with those knees. Again, point the toes or flex or find what works best for you. Shoulders away from your ears, lengthen your neck. So it's like you're drawing your chin forward, lengthening that neck. But don't look up, okay? I don't want your neck hyperextended. I want it in line with the rest of the spine. So tuck your toes, raise up, hold. Engage your core, squeeze your glutes. Bring your right knee to the back of the right arm. Breathe. Now lower the, elbow to, uh, lower the knee to the elbow, and then raise it back up to the middle of the arm. Do it again. Down. Inhale up. Down. Inhale up. One more. Down. Inhale, up, hold, send it back, and down the dog. So this will be our break. If you need child's pose, go there. Inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale. Forward into plank, squeeze the glutes and abs, long neck. Bring your left knee to your tricep. Lower down to your elbow. Come back up. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale. And down. One more. Inhale. Down. Send it back. Hold. And down we go. You should be feeling this. We are working now. If you need a break, you know what to do. Go to child's pose or sit down and breathe. forward to plank. Raise your right foot off the floor and hold. Three breaths. Lengthen your spine and your neck. Squeeze your glutes. Arms are strong and straight. One more breath. 
Okay, down, hold. Back to down dog, squeeze, push. Now breathe. Now this is the part I told you, if you need more breaks, take them. I've showed you enough that you are well aware of what you can do when you need it. Come forward, hold, squeezing. Put the tail one under. Good, lift your left foot, hold. And exhale. more. Down hold. Down dog. One more variation. Changing up the legs a little bit. So if you need a break, take it now. Tailbone tail is longer spine. Shoulders away from your ears. Remember all the cues and keep breathing. Now my hands are slippery, so I might want to move them. Feeling like you're sliding in one area? Wipe them off or move them around. And I'm going to come back into your plank position. So lower your hips, squeeze your abs and glutes, raise your right foot, and open it out towards the right and hold it as far as you can. Just hold it. Long, lock your elbows, shoulders away from your ears. Bring your leg back to the center, push back into three-legged down dog. Now your leg's going to shoot up, driving your left to the floor, chest towards your left foot. Good. Now bring back to plank and bring the knee towards your chest and drive your chin on your forehead towards that knee. Round your back. Shoot back to three-legged down dog. Higher. One more time. Come back to plank. Knee in, chin or ch uh, forehead toward the knee. Round the back. Push back three legged down dog, higher with the leg, lower the foot, bring the knees down, sit back, child's pose. Deep breath. Can you relax? Can you let go? Come forward, hands and knees. Tuck your toes, plank push up. Hold. Let neck as long, shoulders pull back, lift your left foot and hold. Open it out to the side and hold. Two more breaths, this is a lot, as far as you can. Center, keep it lifted, push back into down dog, three legged. Raise that leg up high. My hands are slippery, it's okay. Making it work today. Now come back to center, bring the knee into your chest, bring your forehead or your chin to meet that knee around the back. Push back into three legged down dog. Up, up, up. Good, come in again, round, knee towards the forehead. Push back, we have one more. Drive it up one more time, breathing in, round, pushing it back, exhale, bring that foot down, hands and knees, Ooh, my plank's getting ugly, sit back and relax, shift it around, and now if you need to, you can come up slowly, carefully, now, that's a lot of head down, so you might feel all the blood to your face. So just kind of relax and have a seat. Take those breaths, drop your shoulders back and down, engage your abdominals, lift your heart to the sky. Palms can turn up and just kind of settle in. You can close your eyes or you can look in front of you. And breathe. We have one more sequence. Are you in? I hope so, you're doing so well already. I hope you finish with me. Now, if you have a hard area floor and a little, little, see how this is a very thin mat, you might need to pad up a little. So, I mean, grab a towel, roll it up a few times, and put it underneath your hips. We're gonna do bow, or excuse me, boat, not bow. 
Bow as far back. We'll do a little locust lifts for that one. Today we're just going to do boat. So from the side, this is what we're going to look at. We're going to have a seat on our sits bones. So this bone's right underneath here. We're going to sit up nice and tall, good posture. Shoulders pulled back, neck nice and long, eyes looking straight forward. Okay, so none of this. All right. So I want you to really lift, shoulders pull back and down. Now, if you notice, some of us have less cushion and less cushion here, or we're just not used to sitting on the sits bones all, all on its own, and it's gonna feel kinda hard, it's gonna make me feel uncomfortable. So another option, if you don't wanna go grab a towel, is to grab your mat, so from the center of your mat, take it, lift it, like a little mountain at home, and then just go ahead and place it on top, so it's a little fold, and you'll see now it's padded, okay? So now you can have a seat. If you don't have a towel, like I don't have one right here, we're just gonna go ahead and have a seat like this, okay? So shoulders will pull back. Now really make sure your spine is long, shoulders pull back and down. I'm gonna give you some options. This is gonna really work your core, as long as your back, lower back, spine, shoulder roll back and down. Take a deep breath in. Keep your hands behind your legs, okay? So this is level one. You get to hold on. We're just going to lift the feet one by one, point the toes, and hold. So your feet are pointing right out in front of your knees. Your long, so your spine is long, chin is slightly, but nobody's here, and nobody's here. Okay, long, so your eyes are just looking towards, or right above your toes, okay? And you can hold on. Those of you that feel like you're good and balanced, you can raise your arms up here. We'll keep them here. Now take your feet back down. And wrap forward. Now, when we want to take a break, you can either you take your arms under your legs or around the bottom of the knees. Give yourself a big hug. Tuck your chin in. This is a big round. Give yourself a big hug. And releasing that back. And then come back up. So, that was our level one option. Level two option. If you're feeling strong, you want to raise your legs here. Again, your hands can be behind the legs, long spine, toes pointed. And now your eyes are looking right through your feet, okay? And again, you can raise your arms. So, I'm gonna go between some variations just because some days I don't feel as strong in my core, and just like you will. Some days you'll feel stronger, you'll be able to go into maybe level 100 and raise your arms and legs and everything else is perfectly straight and aligned and you can breathe forever. You know, that's great, but most of us aren't there even sometimes. Um, let alone all the time. So feel free, back off as you need to. Like I said, grab hold of the legs, or bend the knees, or take one foot up at a time. This is another option. Here, you can just touch the foot. See that? So it kind of gives me, even though I'm not putting a lot of weight on my foot, it just kind of helps me rebalance, and it helps me feel like I have that support, even though I'm not putting my foot all the way down. I don't want you to do that, so I want you to keep that tightness in the core, spine long, eyes forward, and breathe, okay? So we're gonna hold that for five breaths. Now I'm not gonna tell you breathe in, breathe out, because your breath might be shorter or longer than mine, just depending on, you know, how much you practice your breathing, you know, how strong your lungs are, how deep your capacity for your breath is, and so many other variations. It doesn't really mean that you're breathing any better than me, and, and then maybe you get thrown off if I tell you, okay, exhale, wait, I'm not ready to exhale, or, Already exhale 10 times, Kathy. Hopefully not that many. But you know, it should be a gradual flow. Think of the ocean waves as they rise and fall upon the beach. That is what your breath should um, flow like. Inhaling and exhaling, and inhaling and exhaling. And try to deepen every breath and have the same length of every exhale. So if you have a four or five count inhale, you should have a four or five count exhale, okay? So let's try it together. Pick your version. Hands behind the legs, knees bent or straight, arms forward, doesn't matter. I'm not grading you, you're not any better than anybody else. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna have to modify as well. So, we start here, shoulders pull back, eyes forward, and you can do this half tap if you need, or you can reach those arms out. If you're feeling stronger, you can lift, but you're still breathing, everybody hold. Now, I'm gonna stay here, if you can hold, let go, let go. Eyes slightly angled up.
feet down carefully. Wrap your arms either under or over your legs and then we'll But we're not done. We have one more set. And I'm going to add a little variation if you can, all right? Now, a lot of us have different body issues, okay? I do have a lot of shoulder. I have a rounding shoulder issue that I do work on. In yoga, it's a challenge. If I'm not practicing uh, regularly enough, I do feel it. I do have to keep reminding myself, pull shoulders back, pull shoulders back, tuck your chin in, lengthen the spine, lengthen the neck. So these cues are not just because I'm trying to bother you. Pull your abs in, strengthen, you know, tighten your core, tighten your legs. These are all cues that are going to help you. So repeat them over and over to yourself. You'll hear me say them, but really repeat them to yourself as you do your practice, even in another class or on your own, or as we continue on together. Feel that continuation. Support the good, happy thoughts of perfect form, perfect balance, and we will get better from there. Perfect is, is imagining, imaginary. We can't be perfect, we're human. So there's no perfection. I'm sorry, you can't have perfection. Not only in yoga, but in life. So let go of it, do your best, and have a wonderful time doing it. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you the variation. So level one, if you're here, this is the variation. We're gonna come down towards the floor, so even if you need to go back onto your lower back, that's fine. And if you can roll up, great. If that doesn't feel good, just stay here and breathe or just do the toe taps, okay? Next level, here. And we're gonna lower the legs out. <coughs> Excuse me, get me back in. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we're gonna try this 10 times and down. Now, if you're feeling super strong today and you can raise your legs and your arms, you're gonna try to lower back Try to keep your spine long and then come back up. See, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work in your core and your lower back, which is that whole band around. So really focus in on the breathing, the elongation, and doing what you can. We're gonna try it five times today. We're gonna to work up in time, trying to get to 10. Today we're gonna to do five, okay? So we lower, pause, and then raise and pause. And every time you lower, you hold the control and you raise with Great form, great length and balance. Or I think graceful lengthening. Or again, toe taps. Just do the toe taps, but lengthen, pull back, and breathe. So ready? Let's go. Come back. Come back up. And down. And up. That was two. Down. And up. Three, use your modifications down. And up, you can bend your knees. Grab hold of the legs if you need one more time. Down. And then lift up and hold for five. Four, two, and one. Knees down, or feet down. Wrap your arms and rest. That does it for our practice. So all I'm gonna ask you to do now if you have music on, just let it play. Hopefully it's relaxing. If not, sometimes silence is beautiful too, right? So you're gonna lie down, face up into your mat. So I'm gonna bring my head up a little bit higher, scoot yourself up, and then you're gonna extend your legs. And when you extend your legs, let your feet fall open, okay? And if you have any kind of tendencies and you wanna kind of release a little bit more weight onto your legs, separate the legs further, let the feet fall wider. And then your palms are going to face up. And your arms are not going to be by your side. So I want you to slide them out so that when you breathe, your rib cage expands and contracts. You're not touching the arms. So really open them up. Drop your shoulders, drop your chin towards your chest. Take a deep breath in. Close your eyes. Exhale, settle up. Melting. Three more. Focus on those waves going up and off the beach. One more. Take 
Take as long as you need. When you're ready, bring the legs in. Turn to the side, using one hand to push you up. And then you'll sit forward. And just how we began and end practice, palms into your heart and you bow forward. Namaste. We'll see you all next time. Thank you for joining me.